container lens with this new Ray-1 preloaded system, it was easy to handle. I just opened the package and then you put some viscoelastic into the nozzle. Then you roll the lens and you implant it through this nozzle, which is very smooth. It only has a height of 1.65 millimeters and the implantation was very smooth and easy. The major difference with the lock and roll technology is that it's fundamentally different to how other lenses are uh, folded in the industry today. Typically you'll find that uh, most lenses are in a butterfly system where the lens is tacoed or, or bent in half or they're forced down uh, ever reducing cone and all the pressure and all the energy goes into the tip of the system. With Ray-1 we effectively have the cylindrical system that the lens sits in as we fold we're actually effectively rolling the cylinder and making it ever smaller and rolling the lens at the same time. This does two things it means that the lens is consistently rolled for every every diopter every time every every patient but also the all the energy of that lens is really taken up in that first movement and then the plunger pushes the lens through the tip um, with limited force of the tip itself. My name is Bob Osher and I'm from the United States. For years we've been looking for new technologies that would allow less manipulation, a less invasive technique of inserting a lens. Perhaps by taking it out of the nurse's hands we can be more gentle to the optic and have more of a virgin pure optic. It looks like Rayner has accomplished this not by folding, but by rolling the edges is very innovative. So it's been wonderful to have our, uh, have our contortionists and our acrobats here today. So talking about not everyone can do this, because most people in our industry are folding lenses and moving them down very small tubes. We have this new lock and roll technology, which allows us to roll the lens into a very small tube, which allows us to inject it through the smallest nozzle size available in the in the world today although having a look at some of the acrobats that have been here over the last few days I don't think anybody could do that um, it's delighted to see so many surgeons here today we're getting great feedback from the demonstrations there have been literally hundreds of ray ones injected and we're over the moon with the, the comments that we're getting <laughs>